Problems with Bernack Vulcan model steam engines. Part 3. The first life steam test. Although the engine seems to run OK, there is a problem that needs addressing. I do like this methylated spirit burner. It really does emit quite a lot of heat. It's underneath the boiler. All I have to do now is wait until some steam appears at the safety valve. Because I couldn't see the level in the water gauge, I just kept filling the boiler nearly to the top, like you do. I did leave a bit of a steam space, but not enough. When I lift the safety valve with a pair of pliers, as you can see, there's not much in the way of steam, just a bit of water. Eventually, with the help of the excellent spirit burner, some steam starts to appear around the engine, but it's all in the wrong place. Most of the steam is coming out of the front of the water gauge, which is never a good sign. After much manual rotation of the flywheel, suddenly the engine bursts into life. And in this clip you can see just how much steam is coming out of the front of the water gauge. I'll stop the narration and let you listen to the sound of it. This is normal speed, and now for some slow motion. As can clearly be seen in this clip on the box, it says Bernac Variable Speed Steam Engine. And the variable speed is achieved by turning the valve on the block which restricts the port handling the exhaust outlet. This is surprisingly effective and you can control the speed once you get the valve in precisely the right position. Here's a bit more slow motion. I really do like the sound this engine makes and I think the ports are just slightly advanced relative to some other oscillating cylinder engines I've played with. The flywheel is still a bit wobbly, but with the brass crankshaft I think this is about as good as I can get it. Not unsurprisingly, this engine is very economic on steam. And when I test the safety valve, there's plenty of steam in there. Plus a bit of water because the boiler is still too full. For lubrication, these type of steam engines require wet steam from the boiler which quickly condenses to water and that becomes the lubricant and it is surprisingly effective. This steam test was a lot longer than I'm showing here and after about 15 minutes the burner was running out of methylated spirit. I want to tackle the problem so I removed the burner and then made sure there was no pressure inside the boiler. I removed the cover from the water gauge and this is what I found, a very badly cracked piece of glass. It's at times like this when I'm really glad that I saved the water gauge glass from the other Bernac Vulcan that I'm making into a Super Vulcan. I'm glad I didn't throw it away, I nearly did. Here I'm very carefully removing the old glass with a Stanley knife blade, being careful not to damage the rubber mounting. I think that this Bernac Vulcan is newer than the one I originally bought, because the mounting for the gauge glass is still supple. On the other Bernac Vulcan, these pieces of rubber sheet were rock hard, with no flexibility whatsoever. I'm testing the flexibility of the rubber by depressing it with my thumb, and it feels like it was put in there yesterday. And for that reason, I'm not going to disturb it, I'm just going to fit the new piece of glass and put the cover back on. Here's a steel cover that holds the glass in place, and I'm going to fit this to the engine, I'm not going to video the operation because my hands are definitely in the way. Once I'd refitted the water gauge, it was time to clean out the boiler. This is Kilrock K Kettle Descaler and it's very good. I don't need to use a lot of this in the boiler. I filled it about half full with water. Then I added a small amount of Kilrock K. I only ever use this stuff on silver soldered copper boilers. I used some of this on the other Bernac Vulcan but I think it damaged the solder, because I used hot water, so on this one I'm taking no chances. I put the safety valve back in position and shook it all up with cold water. And approximately one hour later, I returned to the job and initially drained the water into a small cap of an aerosol. Inside this boiler was not just limescale, there was a lot of rusty bits and pieces, and I think that is what was left of the original spring on the safety valve. After draining the boiler, I refilled it, shook it up again, and drained it for a second time. I rotated the engine in reverse to pump the water out of the boiler. Now I can see the water level in the gauge glass, I filled the boiler to half full. Time to fill the burner, and I'm using the same funnel 
to fill the burner with methylated spirits. And once again, just use methylated spirits. Do not use petrol, kerosene or lighter fluid. This burner is designed to use methylated spirits. After wiping away the usual spillage of methylated spirits onto the bench, I lit the burner and placed it in the firebox. Hopefully, as the boiler is only now half full, I would think it's going to raise steam slightly quicker than previously. I even had time to oil the engine thoroughly and make a cup of tea, and when I returned, there was sufficient steam to make the engine work. I'm going to stop talking now to let you hear the sound of the engine. I thought it was a good time to have a look at the state of the fire. And it's good, this burner produces a lot of heat. It's time, I think, for a bit of slow motion. This small valve gets very hot indeed, and really it should have a spring behind it because it does vibrate out. But it's all part of the fun burning your fingers. I would say that this steam test is a success in every way. The water gauge is perfect and doesn't leak at all. The only bizarre part of the design is the exhaust. The exhaust comes out of the back of the cylinder block, it hits the boiler, then it runs down, condenses on the base as a pool of water. But it doesn't matter, it's just a nice little steam toy after all. The burner is starting to run out of methylated spirits, so I think it's time to remove the burner and blow out the flame. Once the burner was removed, I was surprised how long the engine ran just on the residual heat of this very small boiler. Eventually, all good things must come to an end, and that is the end of the steam test. And it's also the end of this very short series about a Burnack variable speed steam engine Vulcan model. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. 
please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.